today's lesson, ratios. A ratio is defined as a comparison of two quantities. A quantity is an amount. Let's look at an example of a ratio. This question asks, what is the ratio of purple to green pencils? I can see that I have one purple and four green pencils. This means for every one purple pencil, there are four green pencils. Ratios can be written three different ways. We can write a ratio as a fraction. So in this case, one over four. One is representing our numerator, which is purple. And four is our denominator, which is representing our green. Another way to rate a ratio is using the word two. So there are one to four purple to green pencils. The last way of writing a ratio is with a colon. We also say this as two. So this is also one, two, four. Let's take a look at another example. We're still going to use the same pencils from the last example, but this time the ratio asks for the number of green to purple. I still have four green and one purple. So when I write my fraction, I need to write what came first in the ratio as the numerator. So I have a numerator of four, which represents my four green, and a denominator of one, which represents my one purple. You might be asking yourself, can I simplify the number four over one to just four? And the answer, short answer is no. We do not write a ratio as a whole or a mixed number because we are comparing two items and need to show two numbers that describe our items. We never write an improper fraction as a mixed number for this reason. The next way of writing the ratio is with the word two. So we have four to one green to purple, and then colon is going to be the same four to one. So we had two problems using the same set of pencils. Does this mean that our ratios are the same? Well, as you can see, no, they are not. Something that's important to remember about ratios is that the order that you write the numbers in matters. So take special care when writing a ratio that the item you're describing first matches the number you are writing in your ratio first. Here I can see that purple matches with one and green matches with four. It is the same over here, which is why I had to write four first here to represent the green and one last to represent the purple. Let's recap. A ratio is a comparison of two quantities. The order you write a ratio matters. Ratio cannot be written as mixed numbers. That wraps up our lesson. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to click the red subscribe button so you always have access to this and other lessons. Thanks again for tuning in. Until next time.